Well, it was an amazing night with the general election, with uh, Theresa May not able to get over the line, and that's uh, precipitated a host of new markets for when the next election will be. Uh, we could be going through the whole thing again before Christmas with uh, 2017, just 11 to 8. But I don't think that's a really realistic market to get stuck into at that sort of price because it's going to take a while for them to get everything sorted out. She's going to give it six months with the Democratic Unionists. So perhaps 5 to 1 that we'll have another election in 2018. That could be the way to go. That's with Coral. Um, there's Plainly, uh, Theresa May is going to sweat it out and um, she's not going to resign. But the uh, next Tory leader market is very interesting predictably Boris Johnson's favourite at 13 to 8 but I think that that's a bit of a skinny price for a man who's a bit of an acquired taste so there's a couple of um, interesting alternatives a little bit further down the line Amber Rudd Home Secretary she only squeezed home at Hastings by a few hundred votes but um, she performed quite well in the debates when she filled in for the Prime Minister and at 6 to 1 she could be a big runner and a big move, mover in um, the market in the last few hours has been uh, the Scottish Conservatives leader Ruth Davidson she's 8 to 1 she performed very well north of the border and is thought of as a ver very much a high fire for the future so at 8 to 1 her time could come she's not currently an MP but that's something that could easily be sorted out and she could easily be getting a safe seat if the chance arose so Eight to one with Hills. I think Ruth Davison could be an excellent pick to be the next Conservative leader.